Hey everybody, it's me Doc here. I want to introduce you to a cool new application and this is really useful for someone who has a smaller iPhone like maybe a 16 or 32 gig but yet you're using a 4S and you happen to take a lot of pictures. This app is called Cloud Photos. What it basically does is take your photos and automatically synchronizes them with Dropbox as soon as you take the photo. The benefit of doing this is it will leave a thumbnail version on your phone so you can still show everybody but it takes up a lot less space than the large 8 megapixel or 5 megapixels on a 4S, I mean, sorry, on an iPhone 4 size photos. So let me show you what this does. It saves you a lot of space on your storage device by only leaving a thumbnail, like I said. It also, because it automatically grabs your photos and sends them to Dropbox as opposed to iCloud, they're automatically on your computer when you get back home and any other computers you have sharing that same folder. This will come in handy for families sharing a, a photo album per se, and you take an image and you save it into that particular album, then it lands on all the computers of everyone who you're sharing the photo with. So a little bit more easy to share photos and keep you know good backups of like a family party or a picnic or something of that nature. The other cool thing is it has some really excellent album management. With the album management, again, you can add albums, remove albums, and it's just, to me, it's a really... Uh, nicer way to organize and store your photos online. Uh, you can share these albums with your friends, like I said, and the cool part is you can drop them on a social network. So I'll show you what I mean. If you look here on the bottom tab, you can send things to stay in place. So you can send things to Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, big win. Uh, email, you can print them, copy them, or open them in different photo applications and this is how you would share your albums and applications with your friends and family and you can organize some photos so first let me show you what the application looks like this is cloud photos on your iPhone now I'm just going to open the application and let's go to a, a natural screen versus jumping right in this is what it looks like when you come in it shows me my camera roll the last couple photos that I've taken um, and the ones with yellow buttons are already have been synchronized. You'll see there's a camera button down here on the bottom. And as soon as the camera opens, you can see I have a candle burning on my desk. And I can do things like come in and adjust the white balance, uh, turn it on and off the grids. Um, I can, you know, give myself a shooting reticular, go away notification. I can set my flash either on or off or auto can use the opposing camera if I wanted to. Um, so anyway, it's a nice full-featured camera, but here's some of the things that you know I actually have in my phone. So let's go back and I'll look at, here's a photo that I took when I was at Universal, and it's automatically synchronized. If I wanted to share this with the web, I press this icon here, and you can see I can post this to Twitter or Tumblr or Instagram or Facebook, like I said before. Um, let me go ahead and cancel that. Um, what's really neat, is if you wanted to I can select a bunch of photos and move those to a different album so let's say I wanted to move those into an album called food now it's working and it's slowly moving those into a new album called food and there are the four photos that I had previously in another you know setup now also I can click on these and I'm gonna come over to open in I guess I have to select something Let's go open in, and I can say open in the original size, open it in the medium size. Same thing when you send things to Twitter and Facebook. If you were to select a photo and you wanted to share it with the world, like Twitter, it asks you which size you would want to send it in, which I think is also cool. It also just gives me a link to the photo because it's Dropbox, and then you can share that Dropbox links with the world. Really cool app. Uh, my favorite parts here, you can turn on and off the 3G photo uploading. You can open it directly in your camera. It tells you how much storage space that you've saved. And as you can see, I've saved about a quarter of a gig. It does have a nice healthy app walkthrough in case you forget how to use it. I have it set to automatically upload and how to use my Dropbox account. Even more, if you want to share with someone who doesn't have Dropbox, you can grab your Dropbox referral link. And again, that adds and gives you more space. What's really cool is Dropbox recently increased the space you get for referrals to double. So a really cool app. It's a dollar and 99 cent app in the app store and I highly recommend it. So I want to thank you for checking out this app and don't forget to press the subscribe button, press the like button, leave me your questions, comments, or feedback. And uh, that's it. So let me leave you with a Hawaii rainbow. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> there you go. A Hawaii rainbow to go. Aloha, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>